Do you think the launch of the anti-mask law is a good idea and what's your take on this? I think it's really necessary based on the present unrest situation. And the anti-mask laws is not a Hong Kong invention. There are many countries such as Canada, United States, Germany, Spain, all these extremely mature countries already has it long time ago. So it's not a new invention by Hong Kong. Having the young people wearing the masks, I actually think that allow them to think this is like a war game. You know, you know, so, you know, so, so, but frankly, often you make mistake in one day, it could cause you pain for your whole life. So I think this anti-mask uh, law in the long run is not only necessary in Hong Kong, I think it also protects all these people in the long run. The Hong Kong Israel government is trying to launch many measures trying to tackle the current issues. They are providing more land supplies, trying to ease the tensions. Do you think that will work? I think Hong Kong government can really seriously do better. Young people, 17 years, no food, nothing. Their accumulated wealth is to buy a flat. It's the other countries, the average installment is 10, 9, 7. Hong Kong is 17 years. So it's, it's way, way out of tune. You know, you know, so we got to do something about supply. And when you say Hong Kong have no enough land, I don't really agree. You know, you know I mean, I don't sound, want to be sound critical of our own government. I don't really agree. Look at Singapore. The area is smaller, okay? But Government of Singapore, 90% of the people has their own flat. So you think that the Hong Kong government should learn from the example of the Singapore's governing method? I think so. Because Hong Kong started with the, you know, many, many, you know, 200 years of British, or 150 of British administration. A lot of red tapes are still within that bracket. I, I think we should completely drop that thinking, you know, you know and see from Singapore or see from other countries, you know, see from other, there are many, many small countries with little land, they don't seem to have the same problem with us. And secondly, because of the British previous administration, you know, these people talk about, you know, environmentals, you know, you know, you know green space, Hong Kong have actually one of the highest ratio of country park in the world. With such a small island, we can't afford it.